Well, this is prime time for fishing on the Salmon River. News Channel 9's Lindsay Rachel takes us to the river to show us despite low water levels, there are still rewards to find. In Pulaski, there's a 12-mile stretch that people all over the world flock to every year. This year, the world travelers aren't there. Neither is the water. That water comes from the reservoir, but because there isn't any water in the reservoir to release, it's just kind of everything that's natural. There has been rain recently, but it could use a lot more to help push the fish up the river. Most of it just got absorbed because it's been dry. It really didn't affect the water flow. So the fish are very condensed. And, and they're in small pools. There hasn't been much rain to fill the Salmon River, but it seems that the pandemic has brought more people to it, many for the first time. This is my first year salmon fishing, yes. Why did you decide to do it this year? Uh, because uh, my girlfriend and I are looking to move to Alaska, so we've been going to isolated spots and fishing more. For others, they're simply looking for the sense of normalcy during the pandemic, with tradition being the prize. I've been coming up here since I was 10 years old. Uh, my grandfather brought me up here, and then I've been coming here ever since. I think it's an activity that people can feel confident in that they can space out properly, get outside, get fresh air, and it's one of those like, well, why not? You know, there's not as much else to do. Let's go give this a shot. The fish will still run. The reward is a shot at an experience like no other on the East Coast. I'm just glad that we were able to uh, come up here. You know, that it wasn't a huge run today, so we weren't sure if we were going to stay, and I'm just grateful that we did, and it's nice to be able to get away, you know, spend time with my dad, too. In Pulaski, Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9.